Now, ineffective governance and poor leadership have been recognized as major obstacles to Nigeria's economic development and political stability. Now, Reverend Samson Albert, president of the King's Theology Seminary, voiced his concerns regarding the actions of Nigerian political leaders, which have worsened divisions along religious and ethnic lines, thereby impeding national unity and progress. During his address in Kaduna, the cleric highlighted the significant challenges facing democracy in Nigeria, noting that citizens are enduring widespread economic difficulties, insecurity, and restricted access to agricultural land. Baker, we're encouraging pastors to not only learn theology, but also have a skill that they can use to be able to raise some um, income that they can take care of themselves and their family. That ministry is not for money making. Ministry is for service. We are trying to discourage the idea that ministry is where you come to make money. Ministry is where you come to serve people. If you want to make money, go and start a business. That is where money is. Money shouldn't be in the church. Money should be in business. Now, Honorable Jonathan Ashake, the Labour Party's candidate for the governorship in Kaduna for the 2023 elections, also expressed these concerns. He condemned state governors for prioritizing their aspirations for the 2027 elections at the expense of the well-being of the citizens. Ashake pointed out that the financial autonomy provided to local governments has led to the imposition of candidates, thereby compromising accountability within the local communities. Nigeria is in a quagmire today because of bad leadership and the church has a role to play. Most of these people who are leaders today in Nigeria belong to either a church or a mosque. Unfortunately, their lives in government doesn't match the life that they're supposed to live in the community. They leave the community in poverty while they are enriching themselves. That is the problem about this society. Jesus has separated the people and divided us along religious line for their selfish reasons. And once they get power, they know that we are gullible. They use that against us. No development. Look at our streets. No roads. Look at, there is no tap that is running in Kaduna for months right now. Water body shut down. A political leader should, should have the fear of God. And I think we as a people now should begin to look at the need to look at men that love the community. Not people that will come and give us Indomie and give us um, Magi and give us 1,000 to go and vote for them and suffer for four years and come back again with their lives and vote them again. Nigerians have found themselves, we have found ourselves in this situation. Uh, I think everyone now, all sisters are wondering, how did we get here? I mean, if you look at the suffering in the land, the hunger, the insecurity, name it, uh, you will wonder whether we have leaders that are really doing anything about what is going on today in the country. And uh, all that is, the leaders are concerned about now is how to secure their offices. In 2027, governors, the moment they heard that local governments were going to be granted financial autonomy, they started some political brigandage, political rascality that we have never seen in this country, where state governors will just go and declare, under any party they choose to declare, that all offices have been warned under the party they have chosen. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.